Aloha, and welcome to the Hawaii Tax Institute virtual conference. My name is Spencer Gould. I'm a private client advisor with Bank of America Private Bank, and I'll be the host for today's on-demand program. Today, we have a spectacular topic entitled Back to Basics, IRS Interviews of Taxpayers and How to Navigate in Dangerous Waters, presented by Caroline Serralo and Stephen Tosher. We thought it would be helpful in this age of increased enforcement to go back to the basics. Um, we are seeing more audits, and with audits, we are seeing more requests for interviews of our clients. Um, if you haven't uh, represented a taxpayer in an audit recently, um, you may be surprised to learn that the requests for interview come early in the audit. Um, they come with some level of frequency. Uh, there may be more than one request. And you really need to work with your clients to prepare for these interviews because they can make or break a case at the end. Um, so Steve, why don't we take our audience uh, from A to Z of taxpayer interviews. Let's start with the statutory authority. Absolutely. Uh, the Internal Revenue Service has uh, very powerful and vast authority uh, to compel witness interviews. It's uh, Section 7602 of the Internal Revenue Code, and it is probably as broad as you could imagine. Uh, they are entitled to seek information which, and here is the key word we learned when we did summons enforcement, uh, may be relevant, okay? M may throw light upon uh, the inquiry. Uh, and you, sh you should expect probably nothing less than very broad authority that, that's essential to enforce the internal revenue laws and find out the facts. 